Scott and Charles Davis ready for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a peek at some of the big players in today's game. And you're a big player in today's game as well. Let's get the party started. Greg Zerline now. He'll handle the honors to get us started. And off we go from Sports Authority Field. Set to return. This is Brandon Cooks. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. And now the offense getting set, first and ten. A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. On second down, here's Wilson. And this one's incomplete. He was trying to get it to AP out of the backfield. Third down here. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. And this one complete to Martellus Bennett. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Kidd had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. On second down, Peterson. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They go play action here on first down. Dancing to his left. And some room to maneuver. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And Peterson, what happened? He lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. I know he carries it a lot. I know he touches it a lot. 
but he does have a tendency to turn it over and sometimes in some real key situations. I just don't see how with that death grip handshake yeah. Adrian Peterson has, I would figure the ball would never pop for Yeah, you've talked about that a lot, but you give your star like AP a little bit of a break here, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you can talk about those fumbles and then you remember all the gigantic plays that he makes and you learn to live with a few of them. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down and eight to start things out. now out of the gun room here to run he finds an opening past the 40 and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line give him 14 yards there and a Denver first down a run with Peterson and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37 yard line it's a loss of four there bringing up second down I'd say the staff that's up in the booth watching the game they may want to file that one away Did you see how fast the free safety closed to make that play might want to check into a throw the next time Now Wilson on second down. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Ray Lewis not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Wilson. Try for the tight end. Ertz and it's intercepted. Picked off by the longtime charger, Eric Weddle. Eric Weddle's one of my favorite players in the league, Brandon. A guy that always seems to be in the right place at the right time, making a play on the football. And he has excellent hands, as we just saw there. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. After the interception, here's Wilson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations, because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. Back to Denver right after this. To throw is Wilson. To throw on second down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll force upon him a third and 14. It's Wilson. Forced out to his left. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20 at the 15. 18 yards there and a first down. Now 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A gain of three, second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They run again with Peterson. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. <laughs> Off the bootleg, Wilson escaping the pressure right. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. And Myers able to knock it through, and the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. So they kick it through to take the lead. There is a little bit of time left, though, here in the second quarter. And while they're concerned about not giving up a big return or giving up points themselves going into the half, how good do they feel, though, putting points on the board themselves right near the end of the first half? The Broncos' offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Here's a screen to Powell. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Here comes the Broncos' offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Now Peterson, and he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to bring up a third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Wilson. 
Wilson in the offense, not coming off the field. They're going for it on fourth. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. And he connects with Ertz. 18 big yards on that one and a Denver first. So there on that play, offensively, they were in the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. Now Wilson looking to throw on second down. Trying for the tight end. Ertz and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. First and ten, it's Wilson. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And down he'll go at the 25. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll make it a second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. Looking to throw on second down. Wilson, his throw incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. From the shotgun, Wilson. And the third down pass falls incomplete. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack to Marcus Ware. Charging hard for that outside linebacker spot. He gets in to drop him for a loss of 12. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. They try to fire up the run game with Adrian Peterson. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Welcome back now to Denver. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. Now they'll run it on the toss. <laughs> A big hit. Knocked down sideways. 
And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. The Saints on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Here's Wilson. From the gun, he'll throw. And that is incomplete. Very difficult night for the guys on offense. They've got to be looking at each other in the huddle and on the sidelines. How are we going to find some open space to complete a pass and find open room to run? This defense all night long has squeezed down the passing lanes, made plays on the football. It's really been a thing of beauty for them. He's got a figure all day long prepping for the game. They had to have talked about it again and again. Squeeze passing lanes and we'll be in great shape. They're down here in the fourth and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. So the chains are on their sides. It's first and goal from the six. Now a give to Peterson running left. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stay and talk quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. The offense on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Another stop on third down, and this defense still hasn't allowed a touchdown to this point. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. And Myers able to knock it through. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give him some breathing room and lets him build up a little cushion. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. So the offense has it first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
Finding some room at midfield. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now it's Wilson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. You know the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? Bet you're going to tell me. Good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman, and he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They're excited about where they are in this game. Powers through. Flushed out right. And some room to work. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. What an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team, there's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them? going along with those zeros in the time column, too. So that'll do it from here for Charles Davis and the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Follow me on social media. And once again, thanks for watching.